Hey guys, hope you're all doing really, really, really well. Um, it's been a couple of, it's been a week since I last put up a video. I just wanted to share with you, um, last weekend was the annual Adelaide Mega Toy Fair swap meet thing that I go to every year. And I've put up videos um, sort of going into detail what I got the last few years. So why break tradition? Um, I just wanted to share with you my very small hole. I actually, um, managed to get together a reasonable amount of money and you know I went with a little bit of a list of things that I wanted to get and um, I mainly ended up picking up just some old uh, vintage figures I'm just still picking up a bunch of old vintage stuff of as you guys know I haven't really started collecting vintage until the last couple of years and you know while it's not any good quality stuff it's all mostly sort of beat up beat up figures um, I, my aim is to sort of just slowly pick up pick up the set, um, pick up all the figures. I'm not too fussed about vehicles, um, not too fussed about weapons and accessories at this stage. Um, yeah, I just want to get a full full collection, and then then maybe once I've got the full set of characters, then I'll start going back and picking through and trying to find better versions of each character. And you know that that will just be a nice fun little side collection over that's you know something that can take me years and uh i'm cool with that it's i'm it's it's been a lot of fun picking up these figures as i go um tend not to go for broken ones if they've got like an arm snapped um or bits broken off you know i'll tend to skip it i've got one here that is a little bit broken but it's not too bad but again it's just a nice little goal for the future to one day um update them and have good quality versions of these figures so I just wanted to go through with what I got um, so I start off there's one little Lego minifigure I was hunting for I was looking for a new hope layer and um, I picked up this one it's from the Millennium Falcon from 2011 um, the most recent one I think has come out with the Death Star and I'm not quite ready to drop the $800 for the Death Star yet. I would like to get it eventually. Um, so I just decided I wanted to go get a couple of Lego bits, and you know this is one of the one one of the mini figures I wanted. So I grabbed I grabbed her. Um, I think it cost me ten bucks, but you know I don't I don't do it very often. So and uh, some guy had knockoff ones there for five bucks, and they just look like rubbish. So you know. I'm pretty happy to have this layer in my collection. So that was that was cool. Um, so vintage figures, I started off with FX7. Um, there's a little broken off bit there. That little knob bit has a bit of extra extra stuff. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, it's reasonably good. All these arms are still intact, um, which is mainly what I was looking for. It's in reasonable condition. I tend to you tend to pick up all the vintage figures. They're all a bit dirty. They've got built up crust on them and in the joints they're dirty. They've been played with out in the yard. So I tend to just come home, scrub them in a hot sink with a toothbrush and get them looking as clean as possible. Um, and I don't, like I said, if as long as they're not broken, I don't care if paint's missing. I think, I think it's part of the charm. So there's FX7, <clears throat> 4, -L -O 4 LOM. I guess he was uh, Zuckus back in the day. This one isn't too bad quality. A little bit of paint missing on his eye, but the joints are the joints are pretty stiff. Um, I did find that I did pay for three of them, and then I was just happened to see as I was looking back into the box of figures that this one was sitting there. He had them all wrapped up in individual bags. Um, so you know, I took a mental note and went back and got it, and a couple others later on. But you know, there was there was a lot of figures there and a lot of stuff, but I didn't really want to have to pick through. There's some there's a couple of well renowned scalpers here in my local city that show up there every year and everything's a little bit overpriced and you know they they try and take advantage of the um the unknowledgeable market that's the that potentially out there, whether it's kids or um parents of kids that don't really know the value of Star Wars collectibles, so you know, the, for example, they had the Walmart exclusive Black Series Shock Trooper for $185, and you know they can they can stick that where the sun doesn't shine. So 
I'll stick to I'll stick to buying some crusty old figures, but they call cool. blow out this guy, Imperial Commander. Now you got some odd looking marks on his face. Looks like he may have been drawn on at some stage, I don't know. Doesn't make sense, but I nearly picked up one with a broken arm, so this one's not too bad. Uh, Bespin Leia. Apparently there's two versions of this. I've sort of been doing a little bit of research into the vintage figures and there's one where they actually painted the neck um, under the head and this one sort of stayed orange up to where the swivel joint is there. So that sort of finished off my... Got all the main characters. I've got all the different versions of the main characters. So that's that's that sort of goal out of the way. And uh, picked up Boba Fett. You know, he's pretty, pretty rough up, roughed up, but imagine this guy got a lot of playtime back in the day. But uh, he stands all right, and that completes my sort of little bounty hunter lineup, the Empire Strikes Back bounty hunters. I did get the uh, 2010 reproduction of the vintage Boba Fett. I've still got that carded, so that's that's a nice piece in the collection. But this is this is really really cool. So that's pretty nice. And Emperor, Emperor Palpatine. Again, not a lot of paint on this to wear down, just the face and the hands, and that's about it. But uh, yeah, reasonably, reasonably clean, good, con reasonably decent condition. Um, yeah, happy to add that. So yeah, as I was sort of looking around, I sort of, you know, I'd saved up quite a lot of money, and I hadn't spent anywhere near what I sort of wanted to. Well, not that it's not that saving money is a bad thing, but uh, I did pick out something. Which you know, you've, you've, you've well, I think I pro probably put it on the uh, title picture, um, the thumbnail for this video, <laughs> so you you can see it. And those of you who follow me on social media have seen it and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I had I took note of this figure, and I wanted to go back and you know, if I had the money at the end of the day, I would have gone back and just asked the guy if he'd be willing to, you know, just let it go for a little bit cheaper. And the gentleman absolutely obliged, and I picked up. Vintage carded Anakin Skywalker, the tri logo version. You know, the bubble's a little bit crushed in there, but um, it's not too bad. He had, he had it down for 125, um, and I offered him 100. I thought, nice, you know, having 125, I thought I'd drop it. Drop down to a nice even 100, and he went for it. So, you know, I don't know, I don't know how, how much it's worth exactly. Um, I didn't really research it. I probably should have a little bit, but um, you know, I've got quite a fondness of this of this figure and this character. Um, I've got this exact card back, which I've had in my collection since I was a kid. My auntie gave it to me. She's still got the action figure um, in storage. She said she'd give it to me, but. Uh, I didn't know much about Anakin when I was a kid. Um, and every time I went to my auntie's place, she'd have the Anakin Skywalker action figure standing up on the shelf. And, um, you know, my mind would just wonder, you know, what if Anakin hadn't turned to Darth Vader? Like, this is what he'd look like. And I used to have, uh, must have been a Bendham's Obi-Wan, I think it was. And I used to put, put them together and they'd go together on, on uh, adventures through the garden. I didn't get hers very dirty. I didn't get hers dirty. Um, I looked after it a lot, but you know. So I've got a lot, a lot of sentimental value towards this this character. And, uh, I always imagined a lot more of what Anakin would be like if he didn't become Vader. So this is my very first foray into carded vintage action figures. 
and I can't think of a better one to start with. So um, yeah, I need to do a little bit more research and learn a bit more about this this figure and stuff like that. But I'm pretty happy with it, you know. I don't often spend big money on figures. I tend to get tend to get them cheap as possible. Like these, they're all beat up. So I thought I'd treat myself for the weekend. I've worked hard for a few since I've got back from holiday, and you know, if you if you don't treat yourself, what, what do you live for? So anyway, guys. That's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure sharing with you my sort of my lot from the Adelaide Mega Toy Fair. If you're a local South Australian or Adelaidean, definitely recommend stay tuned. They usually do it in the last uh, first weekend of June, sometimes at the end of June, start of July. Just stay tuned and you can uh, use a Facebook page you can probably find if you search for it. So, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and until my next video, may the force be with you.